우리나라는 그 옛날에 복음 없이 이시조선 시대가 계속됐습니다. In the nation of Korea, in the past, we had no gospel. 그러니 당연히 일본에게 속국이 됐습니다. And because of that, we were colonized by Japan. 속국이 되어 있는 동안에 공산주의 사상, 민주주의 사상 두 개가 우리 백성들을 나누어 놓은 겁니다. And during that time of occupation from Japan, there was a fight of ideologies between communism and democracy in Korea. 공산주의에서는 아무래도 중국, 소련 이런 사람들이 붙어 있고. 민주주의에서는 미국, 뭐 영국 이런 나라들이 붙어 있었습니다. And of course, within communism, representative countries were Russia and China, and for democracy, it was like United States and England. 그래서 우리나라에 전쟁이 터진 겁니다. And that's why war erupted in Korea. 공산주의자들이 소련 탱크를 가지고 우리나라 수일 새벽에 몰고 내려온 겁니다. The Chinese communists came down with Russian tanks, and in the early dawn, they attacked Korea. 그래서 우리나라는 막 비참하게 된 겁니다. Yeah, of course, because of that, Korea became a very miserable place. 그러니까 그때 각 세계에서 유엔군들이 파견돼서 우리나라를 도와주고 그랬습니다. And at that time, the UN troops from the United States Nations they were sent to Korea. 어, 지금도 그 부산에 영호동 가는 길에 그분들이 와서 젊은 청년들이 사망했지요. 그 무덤이 있습니다. And right now in Busan, there's a national cemetery where these UN soldiers have been buried. 제가 왜이 얘기를 하나면요. 여러분이 본문을 잘 아는 거라고 생각할 겁니다. Why am I telling you this? You might think you know the main Bible verses today. 가나 혼인잔치 예수님이 물로 포도주 만들었다. 뭐이 얘긴데요. 사실은 그 얘기가 아닙니다. In talking about Jesus who went to a wedding in Cana and did his first miracle, but that's not what we're really talking about. 이때 어, 지금 이스라엘은 멸망 직전에 있습니다. At that time, Israel was on the verge of destruction. 예수님은 아십니다 그거를. And Jesus knew that. 그리고 어, 로마 황제 열 명이 250년을 이 교회를 박해하는 그런 시간표였습니다. And ten Roman emperors they persecuted the Christian church for 250 years. 네, 그 이스라엘은 로마에 속국돼 있었기 때문에 당연히 망하지만은 후대들이 완전히 무너지는 그런 시간표가. And because Israel was colonized by Rome, the posterity was only waiting for their time of destruction. And at that time, God sent Jesus, who He had promised to send. And at that time, people called Jesus a heresy. And at that time, the book of John was that book that was. Gave, that was given to John by God. And of course, it's a, a tremendous message. And of course, John, when he was on the island of Patmos, he gave the book of Revelations. And at this time, right now, this is Jesus' first ministry here on earth. When there was no more wine at the wedding, he turned water into wine. Yeah, 한마디로 결론부터 내리자면 그 잔치 집에 예수님이 초청을 받은 겁니다. To, to put into perspective, in conclusion, Jesus was invited to that wedding. 그런데 그지 그기는 지금 포도주가 떨어진 겁니다. But at that time, because of the wedding, people were so many. The, the wine was no more longer there, so it was a big problem arose. 예수님께서 그 집에 손님으로 가 있어서는 역사가 안 일어납니다. But then if Jesus went there as a guest, works would not arise. 예수님이 기빈으로 앉아 있는 것은 맞지만은 기빈으로서는 역사가 안 일어납니다. Again, he went as a guest, but if he went there as a guest, then works would not arise. 예수님은 그 집에 주인 역할을 했다. He went there as the owner, the master, the Lord. And at that time, miracles arose. And that's what this is revealing. 오늘 본문에서는 이스라엘 나라에는 두 가지가 지금 필요한 겁니다. In today's scriptures, Israel needs two things. They needed the Savior, the Lord, who would take them out of darkness. It's the same as even now. Again, there are many leaders today, but if their Lord does not change, they will be in big trouble. 어떤 자 잘못하면 미국에서는 매일 총기 사건 날 겁니다. In America, there will be gun violence every single day that will rise. 그리고 입원시키지 못할 정도로 병원에는 정신병약을 가득 찰 겁니다. 
있습니다. And there will be so many patients going to hospital that there will no longer be enough room to take care of them anymore. 왜냐? 사단이 주인이기 때문에 그래요. Because Satan is the, the Lord. We have to change that. 근데 오늘 중요한 말씀이 나왔어요. And of course important words came out today. 11절에 보면 중요한 말씀이 나옵니다. In verse 11 important words come out. 뭐라고 돼 있는 거니까 어, 2장 11절에 예수께서 이첫 표적을 갈릴리 가나에서 행하여 그 영광을 나타내심에 누가 믿더라? 제자들이 그를 믿으니라. He says, "What did Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs the which revealed His glory. Who believed? His disciples believed in Him." 여기 키입니다. This is the key. 제자들이 믿었다 이네. The disciples believed. 예수님 목표는 여기 있습니다. This is Jesus's goal. 에, 이스라엘 지도자들이 잘못된 믿음 가지기 때문에 죽는 겁니다. The Israel leaders at that time they had wrong faith. That's why they perished. 여러분이 믿으면 됩니다. For you, you must believe, and that'll be enough. 뭘 말하는 거냐? What is correct? 도대체 예수 그리스도 누구냐 말이요? Who is this Jesus Christ? 이걸 제자들이 본 겁니다. And that's what the disciples saw. 이런 굉장히 중요한 말씀이 되는 거죠. Again, these are important words then. 예수님은 그리스도는 왕적으로 오셔서 우리의 왕이시다 하고 말한 게 마태복음입니다. In Matthew, he talks about Jesus who came as a king. 예수님은 십자가 대속하여 종으로 오셔서 많은 죄를 담당하셨다 하는 게 In the book of Mark, it talks about Jesus who was crucified on the cross and took all of our sins. Jesus Christ is not only a son, but he is a man who was born in a human body. He is a man who was born in a human body. In the book of Luke, it emphasizes that Jesus, although he was God, he came clothed in a man and was sacrificed. The conclusion is that in the book of Luke, the conclusion is that the book of Luke is that Jesus is God. Jesus is God. And the conclusion comes out of the book of John. It says, Jesus, what is God? 그 and because of that, proof of that is He existed before time. 그 in the Old Testament, when you prayed in that name, works arose. 뭐 and even though, even, even in the Old Testament, before Jesus came, if you applied the blood of the Lamb on the doorpost, you would be saved. And that's why He's a true prophet, priest, and king. 예수님 하늘과 땅의 모든 것을 가지셨다. And he has, he controls everything, possesses everything in heaven and on earth. 예수님 만난 사람들이 병 근원이 치유되게 되었습니다. 그렇죠? And for the people, people who are sick that met Jesus, fundamentally they were healed. 자 그렇다면 오늘 그리스도께서 어떤 주인이시냐 하는 거죠. Then in today's Bible scripture, what master is Jesus? Who is he the master of? 오늘 여러분 실제 붙잡고 짧은 예배, 예배 시간이지만 응답 받아야 돼요. Even though it's a short message time for you, a worship time for you, you must grab hold this message and hold on and firmly hold on to it. 제가 이이이 땅은 오분 만에 응답 받은 땅이에요. This is the land. Our Korea has a land that has received so many blessings. 위에 그저 예비군 훈련장인 예비군 훈련하고 내려오다가 제가 이 공장을 봤어요. I'm talking about this land here where uh, Emmanuel Church is placed on. Up there, there is a reserve, army reservist field, and then I came down here, and this is what I saw, the field. 제가, 하, 이러, and at that time, I thought, and at that time, I thought to myself, oh, this would be a wonderful place to place a church. That's what I thought 네. about and prayed. And then later on, this place actually became our church. Uh, 뭐, and of course, at that time, there were many elders who did a lot of work. 근데, And right now we've got that permission. Now we have to build it. All we have to do is just give a lot of offering now, church construction offering. And there's an answer that, you hold, that comes when you hold on to the accurate covenant during worship. Again, what kind of Lord is this Jesus? He is the Lord, the Master who has overcome, defeated darkness. Satan only fears Jesus. He is the Master, the Lord who has gotten rid of all disasters. 여러분 이스라엘은 얼마만큼 결혼식을 중요시했나면은 예수님 오시는 거와 결혼식을 같이 비유했다니까요. Again, how important did the Israelites receive their wedding festivals at that time? They compared it with Jesus coming. They called Jesus the bridegroom and us the bride. Oh, 실제 그 이스라엘은 결혼식이 천국을 설명하는 굉장한 것들이 많이 있습니다. 
in reality, in fact, when they have the Jewish uh, weddings, it talks about it uh, about about heaven the most. 식, and there's so many things that they do at that time. And there's three F, there's three wedding services that they have. 하나는 가족들끼리 모여서 약속하는 정혼식이라 이렇게 우리말로 약혼식이죠. 정혼식을 해요. And one is the the pre-engagement ceremony where all the family members gather together. 이제 두 번째로는 신랑 집에서 또 결혼식을. And the second one, they have it at the bridegroom's house. It's a great festival that they have there. And then the third and final one, they have it at the groom's at the bride's house. And of course, at that time, there's going to be time that will be set. And they'll have that festival at the time when the bridegroom appears. So then when does he come? The bridegroom usually comes at night. That's why the bride would host and carry the lamp. And at that time, the wine that they were drinking was, was no longer available. They prepared that. Again, they prepare that for one year, the bridegroom does. And if, even at that time, if he was going to the military, they would exempt him from the military. And that's how important these wedding festivals were at that time. Again, the wedding festival at those times are not like today where we just have it for a short period of time. They do it for extended periods of time, and at that time, the wine ran out. And for, that, for the Israelites at that time, that was a great disaster. But when Jesus saw that, he did not consider that a problem. Because at that time, the great disaster was awaiting the Israelites who were, who were so happy because of that wedding ceremony. Again, the Israelites, they misunderstood at that time. When they thought of the word Messiah, they thought he would come. They thought the Messiah would come and destroy everything. That was the incorrect thinking that they had. But at that, you know that Messiah is Christ, but at that time, they didn't think that Christ came or the Messiah came. Even though Christ had come, they said that he didn't come. Even when Jesus was crucified, the Israelites confessed this. If it's our mistake, place our blame on our children, the blood on our children. And at that time, what happened afterwards, the crucifixion, the Israelites were scattered. They were scattered to 24 different areas. Even now, the Israelites, the Jewish people don't understand these words. That's why for our remnants, the evangelization of Israel is the most important. Because if we don't, great troubles will arise. Because at that time, if we lose, because we gained a lot of things, if we lose hold of that, that means we're going to lose hold of the important gospel. It's not that they received a lot of things at that time, but God blessed them because they had to do world evangelization. What if there was an important work that I had to give to an elder and I gave him trillions of dollars? He can't just go around feeling arrogant because he received all that money. But that's how the Israelites were. Again, because of that, they were so low, low, low level at that time. Because they still don't understand. Of course, I'm not really sure myself, but I think all the problems in the world took place because of the Israelites. The greatest work in world evangelization is changing your owner or master or Lord into Jesus who, who breaks down darkness. And that's what you have to do today. In our age, in our family, in this time right now, the Lord must change to Christ. 
It's not just I believe, it's the Lord. He must become your Lord. Again, for those who truly know prayer, Jesus will become the Lord. Because you don't even know truly pray. If you truly know prayer, you don't have to get. You don't need anything else. You don't have to ask anything because you see it and you believe it. Because if you know prayer, that means you know that Jesus, God is with you. We'll talk about that, Lord. And that's why darkness will completely be bound. Again, the second point. What, what kind of Lord is this? Who, who is he? We're talking about the Lord who's shown the power and the, of creation. 여러분 병든 자들을 간절히 기도하시고요. 그리스도를 주인으로 모시세요. 병, 한, 창조의 능력을 보여준 그리스도다 그 말이요. For those who are sick, truly take the Lord, Jesus as your Lord, and you will see your fundamental healing through that. 그 일장에서는 하나님과 동일하다 그랬잖아요. And of course, in verse 1 그렇죠. it says that he was the same. 있다. He said he is God. 사람의 몸을 입고 오셨다. He said he was clothed in man. And, and if this person here gave Jesus gave that commandment at the time. 그런데 마리아는 예수님이 누군지를 알겠죠. 그렇죠. And of course Maria knew, Mary knew who that person was. 알잖아요. She knew. 자기는 분명히 남자를 가까이 안 했는데 성령으로 인기했다는 걸 알잖아요, 본인이. Mary knew who Jesus was even though she didn't go get close to a man was intimate with the man. He, 그 she knew who Jesus was. 부탁을 하는 겁니다. So she came to Jesus and she requested him and asked him. 좀 해달라고 어떻게? And she asked, "Can you please do this?" 그렇게 하인들 보고 얘기했잖아요. 하라고. And she told the servants, "Do exactly as he says." 그 여섯 개 돌항아리에 물을 채웠는데 그게 물이 포도주를 변했다는 얘기입니다. And then he told the, the servants to fill those six jars with water, and those jars of water became wine. 이거는 지금 포도주 얘기가 아닙니다, 사실은. We're not just talking about wine here, in fact. 창조의 주께서 우리의 주인이 되는 순간에 우리가 할수 없는 것꼭 필요한 걸 하게 하신다는 거죠. What we're talking about is the creation, the Lord of creation is coming to you as the Lord, and He will make you do incredible things. 이걸 언약으로 딱 잡으셔야 됩니다. And this is a covenant that you must grab hold of. 여러분 믿고 오늘 장관 기도하는데도 우리 한계를 깨야 되는 겁니다. 그렇죠? If, when you believe in this and you pray today, that means all your limitations will be broken down today. 같이 있을 필요 없습니다. There's no need to be seized by your past. 지금 우리 장로님들 많이 계시는데요. 어, 저는 생각이 다릅니다. 앞으로 여러분들 잘안 죽어요. 100살까지 살 수가 있어요. 이거는요. We have many elders sitting here 그렇죠? today. This is my thought. You will not die. You will live past 100. 나는 막 박지원 목사가 깜짝 놀랐어. 이분은 몇분 돌아가신다고 장례식 준비하고 이랬거든요. 장례 위원장까지 세웠다니까 김원수 목사님. This pastor, pastor Shiong, he thought that he was going to die. So he made all the preparations already, but he still hasn't died yet. 안 죽어. He won't die. 요즘은요. 예배 제일 앞에 제 집에 가고 앉아 가지고 그 컴퓨터 다 칩니다. Whenever I go to Whenever go to retreat, Pastor Park is sitting in the front writing down everything, taking notes. 어 가까이 인사하면서 보니까 머리도 까매. When I look at him and when I look at him up close, he still has black hair. 그러니까 안 죽는다니까. That's why he won't die yet. 준비해라 이 말이요. 여러분들 기도 응답 받고 새 은혜 받고 새힘 얻어야 돼요. For you, you have to pray, gain new strength, a new hope. 그리고 이 말을 못 알아들으면 우리나라 국가 문제 와요. 나 나이만 멀쩡한 사람요. 65세 퇴직 시기 보이거든요. If we don't understand this, problems will come to our nation. Because once you turn 65, they make you into forceful retirement. 아니, 80대도 안 죽는데. 영감 취급하고 여기서 그러다 보니까 어떤 65세 된 사람들은 경로도 안 가요. Even right now, even though you're 80 years old, they make it seem like you're much older than that. 그 어떤 의사 그랬다 보니까 경로도 안 가서 좀 이렇게 그러더라고 막 이렇게 장기도 두고 이렇게 하라는 게안 된다면서 형님들이 심부름 시켜서 안 된다면서. A doctor said was commenting about the health, but then she said she can't die because she has more errands to run. 그러니까 진짜 새힘 얻어야 돼요. That's why you have to gain new strength. 지금 이스라엘 민족은 계속 하나님을 잘못 알고 있고 그리스도를 잘못 알고 있는 거예요. Because Israel at that time they did not know God, they did not know Jesus. 후대에게 엄청난 재앙이 있는 거예요. And because of that, the posterity had tremendous disasters come upon them. 이런 걸 회개해야 됩니다. 엄청난 재앙이 후대에게. And that's what we have to repent about the the problems that came to the posterity. 속지 마시고 여러분이 언약 바로 붙잡으면 후대에게 엄청난 하나님의 역사가 시작되는 거예요. Don't be deceived. When you hold on to the accurate covenant, these blessings will come upon the posterity. That's the covenant that you have to hold on to today. 그런데 
오늘 가나 혼인전이 나타난 예수님의 이 표적은 그냥 표적이 아니거든요. 뭐죠? Again, again the signs that took place in the, in the wedding place of Cana, it's not just simple. What were they? 다른 사람도 중요하지만 이 제자들이 믿어야 돼요. Again, other people at the time were important, but these disciples were important. They had to believe, they had to open their eyes. What does that mean? Those who know the absolute answer, God will give them answers. That's what you have to remember. If you see God's absolute plan, then everything is confirmed, right? Again, Jesus came into this world to save this world, to save all the people. That's the evidence that we have to hold on to. And because of that, you will see the absolute plan. And if you see the absolute plan, you'll go on that absolute journey. And then you'll see God's absolute goal. And you reach that goal. You are the main figure of that. 그래서 오늘에 하인들에게 이렇게 말씀 그 어머니가요 말씀하시는 대로 해라 이렇게 시기잖아요. In verse five, his mother said to the servants, "Do whatever he tells you." 절대 순종인 겁니다. Again, they had absolute. They had absolute obedience. 여러분 남아 있는 생을 하나님의 절대 계획을 찾아야 되고요. Again, throughout the rest of your life, you have to have abs- God find God's absolute plan and have absolute subservience to Him. And that's what do, having your walk of faith is. That's the best kind of walk of faith. And for me, as I pray about church construction, there are many answers that I've held on to. God will change not only my life, but your life as well. And you will know, He will let you know who Jesus truly is. 뭐 어제가 추석이니까 우리 추석기도 한데 어 조금 추석 메시지를 조금 마무리를 하자면 기독교인들 가운데도 점치려고 하는 사람이 많다네요. And of course yesterday was Korean Thanksgiving. I want to bring conclusion to that. There are many Korean people who are doing politics, Christian politics. 심지어 목사들도 있대요. 목사들 점치려고 하는 사람이 있대요. And there are even pastors who are acting as politicians right now. 확인은 못했는데. And I wasn't able to confirm that, but there are pastors who are doing politics at this time. Why is that? Because if you have Christ and do 24, 25 with him, then that means the future will be seen. And the answers will come. And he came as that answer, the Lord. 매일 여러분들이 지금부터 시작하세요. 저는 237 치유 서밋 이 작품을 그리스도가 주인이 되는 작품을 매일 만들고 있습니다. For me, every day I make this masterpiece of the 237 healing assembly where Jesus is the Lord of it. 지금부터 하세요. 기도로 만들고 말씀으로 만들고 실제로 만듭니다. Do it right now through prayer, through the word, do it in actuality. 아마 237 나라 치유 서밋이라는 작품이 어, 완성이 되어지면 많은 사람들에게 도움이 될 거라 저는 확신하고 만들고 있습니다. For me, I, I truly believe that once we finish the masterpiece of 237 healing at the 어, summit, they will help many people. So make it every day, make them every day. 그, 여러분들 하세요. 여러분의 산업이 2, 3, 7 되도록 매일 만드세요. Again, your businesses make it so that they are become the 237 every day. 제가 이 말씀을 결론으로만 하는 이유는 이스라엘은 지금까지 계속 저주를 쌓아왔어요. Why am I telling you this right now? Because Israel up to now they only accumulated disasters. 여러분 금방 응답받으라 하지 말고 하나님의 축복과 하나님 능력을 계속 쌓아가라 이거야. Again, don't just want immediate answers. Keep accumulating God's blessings and God's answers in your life. 나는 응답이 없을까 이런 단어가 필요 없습니다. 계속 쌓아나. Again, don't talk about why don't I have any answers. Just accumulate those answers. That's important. Again, for the early church that was persecuted for 250 years, all they did was accumulate answers. 자, 여러분이 매일 같이요, 여러분의 산업이 한 목이 하지 말고 매일 2, 3, 7가 맞도록 매일 실천해 보세요. And then for your businesses, every day, make sure that your businesses align with the 227. Try that. And see what happens one day. 그렇다면 여기 앉아 계신 다민족들 있죠. 여러분에게는 보아로 보일 겁니다. And, if you, and, and if by doing so, the, the, all the multi-ethnic people sitting here, you look at them as treasures. 그냥 보이죠. 
Because you don't do that. That's why they just, you just seem, they just, they're just sitting here. 내가 산업하는 사람 같으면요. 어, 여러분처럼 평신도라면 저분들 돌아가면서 계속 미팅하겠어요. For me, if I were a business person, if I was a lay person, I would go into them every day. 매일같이 2, 3, 7, 7, 6, summit. Every day, make the masterpiece of the 237 healing at the summit. 제일 작은 거라도 큰걸 하지 말고 하나씩만 만들어요. Even if it's the smallest work, even though don't try to make big work, just even if it's the smallest work, just do that. 그게 더 진짜 응답입니다. And that's a true answer. 지금 이 유대인들은 계속 틀린 걸 쌓아왔다니까요. Again, up to now, the Israelites they only accumulated what was incorrect. 오늘 여러분이 이 언약을 가지고 지금부터 2, 3, 7 치유 서비스를 만들어 나간다면 여러분의 나이는 아무 상관없이 젊은 사람들 하는 역사실 거예요. 우리 렘런들은 세계를 변화시키는 그런 기성세대보다 더 큰, 경험이 나올 겁니다. Right now, if you hold on to this covenant and you do the 227 healing and summit masterpiece, the new remnants, even though you're very young, you'll do even greater works than the adult generation. 이게 언약 매일 같이 실천하는 거예요. 매일 작품 만드세요. And then place, put this into practice every day. Make your masterpieces every day. 자 매일 만들면 어떤 결론이 나오는지 아십니까? What happens if you do this? What conclusion will come out? 매일 만들라고 하니까 실제로 없다 말이요. 그렇죠. And if you try to do it every day, in reality, you won't have many. 아니 내가 이 삼지를 계속 매일 만들 수가 없잖아요. Because you can't make masterpieces of two to seven every day. 내가 치유하는 거를 매일 할 수가 없잖아요. Again, regarding healing, you can't make those masterpieces every day. 매일 하다 보면 뭐가 나왔냐면요. 아, 이게 기도구나 하는 게 나와요. But if you do so every day, you know what will come out? You'll come to the realization, ah, this is prayer. There's no greater masterpiece in prayer. 야, 이게 말씀이구나. This is the word. 이게 말씀이 깨달아져 응답이 온단 말이에요. Because once you realize the word, answers will come. 제가 예, 몇 년을 계속 기도했어요. Again, I prayed for this many years. Why must we build the church? Why would, again, why must we build it here? Why, 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 why? Can't we just build it? It's going to be difficult for the church members. Can't we just build one, simple one? And this is a question I continually asked. And because I asked that in prayer, God gave me an answer. He said, the, the church without the three courtyards, I will get rid of them. Because we didn't have it. God desires a church that has the three courtyards. What, okay, what courtyards am I talking about? I'll talk about that during second service, but you already know what they are. And we'll talk about that during second service, but Jesus took a whip and went inside of Herod, Herod's temple and overturned everything. Again, they sold. They made a marketplace into one of the three courtyards and Jesus went there and overturned everything. And we'll talk about that during our second devotion service today, but then hold on to this covenant today, right now. On the day when Jesus becomes the Lord of this nation, all darkness will break down. The day when Jesus truly becomes the Lord of your business within 227 Healing and Summit, great works will arise. Make these every day. And grab hold of this covenant. 여러분은 예배만 드리는 걸 가지고도 모든 답이 다 나와야 돼요. And through worship alone, all answers will come. 빨리 이 세계의 주인 바꾸고 살려야 됩니다. Again, we have to change this, the Lord 나세요. of this world, and we have to save it, because great problems will arise. 어, 목사님들의 착각이 뭔지 압니까? Do you know what the misconceptions of pastors are? 목사님들의 착각이 아, 내가 이 목회에 대해서 말 여기에 큰 무슨 작품을 만들어야 되겠다. Their misconception is because I'm a pastor, I have to make this great masterpiece here. That's their misconception that they have. 착각입니다. Again, their misconception. And that's why those churches have all been ruined. Even the churches in America, like for example, the Christian Cathedral led by Robert Schuller, even that broke down. Even in churches, even the small churches break down. 성도님들이 절대 멸망받지 않도록 그리스도를 
주인으로 섬기도록 만들어지는 것입니다. That's why at church all of your church members must make Jesus the Lord so that you will not be destroyed. And that's the work, the ministry. That's the ministry that all pastors must do. You mustn't do anything else. If you do it, that's why you'll be ruined. You can grab hold of this covenant today and pray. On the day when Jesus truly becomes the Lord, all darkness will break down. There's nothing more important than that. 그리스도께서 우리 교회와 여러분의 주인이 되시면 사단은 무릎 꿇게 돼 있다. On the day when Jesus becomes the Lord of the church and you, Satan will kneel down. 그리스도께서 은하의 주인이 되는 기도만 했는데 그것만 하면 어떻게 됩니까? 창조의 능력이 나타나. Just by praying for Jesus to become your Lord, what will you experience? You experience the creation. 예수님이 말씀만 했는데 말씀만 받는데도 역사를 나요. And then even though Jesus said the word, works arose. 그래서 더 이상 응답이 필요 없어요. 하나님은 저와 여러분 통해 세계 복음을 하실 겁니다. That's why we don't need any other answers. God will do world evangelization through you and me. 30년 전에 여러분 보고 말했어요. 하나님은 여기서 세계 복음을 하실 겁니다. 30 years ago, God said that I will do world evangelization from here. 굳게 잡으셔야 됩니다. 여러분 통해서 하나님은 세계 복음을 하시겠다고 하는 겁니다. Firmly grab hold of this. God will do world evangelization through you. 어떻게 말입니까? What does that mean? 가짜 신자 되지 말고 그리스도께서 나의 주인이 되어 주고. Don't just believe on your own, but have the Jesus become the Lord of your life. 가짜 교회도 다 문닫습니다. 그리스도께서 우리 교회의 주인이 되시옵소서. Again, don't do it individually. Jesus must become the Lord of our church. 너무 중요한 본문입니다. Then these are very, very important scriptures right here. 그 우리가 지금 사도행 이장에 결혼식 나오고 성전 청소하는 게 이부에 나와요. And then we're going to talk about this in second service, but what happened after the wedding? 오늘 짧은 시간이지만은 큰 응답 받는 축복의 시간 되기를 주 예수 이름으로 축복합니다. During your short time, I bless your name of Jesus. 하나님 오늘 언약의 시간이 되게 해 주옵소서. Father God, may this time be a time of the covenant. 가나 혼인 잔치에. May this time be the time of the creation, power of creation, where you turned water into wine. 그리스도의 말씀 붙잡는 그리스도 주인이 되는 역사가 일어나게 해 주옵소서. May the works arise where we hold on to your word and you become our Lord. 그래서 나의 모든 허감 저주 재앙 무너지게 해 주시옵소서. So that all the darkness, calamities inside of my, disasters inside of my life may be broken down. 모든 사단과 저주 권세가 결박되게 해 주시옵소서. So that we may bind all Satan, all darkness. 예수 그리스도 이름으로. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.